Amen. 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 Everyone. Amen. Uh, praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. We want to thank God for this opportunity that He has given unto us. Uh, so that we can gather here and say thank you to Him for the many good things that He has done. And even as we begin our new semester, we want to take this opportunity to go, to go with us. So we take this opportunity to welcome all of us, those who are here physically, and uh, those who are watching us uh, online. We are grateful that you have found time uh, to be with us. So feel welcome and uh, feel at the presence of the Lord. The session will not be very long. Uh, it is purely uh, a session for making prayers and we begin the same stuff. So at this juncture, I want to invite us to bow down as I open the session with a word of prayer. Our Father and our God, this great afternoon, we want to come before you. We want to honor your great name. Thank you because there is no such other name for our Father want to thank you even because of this opportunity that you have given us, Lord, that we can be able to begin a new semester, our Father. And just like Moses said that we cannot go without you, that is also what we are saying, our Father. That's why we have come here in your presence to seek your presence with us, to seek your guidance even as we move forward. Father, therefore speak to us, hearken unto our prayers, O God, and remove from us anything that may make us, uh, that may make you not to hearken unto our prayers. We thank you, honor you, even as we take power and authority to pull down, to destroy every force of the enemy, every scheme of the evil one that is occasioned against us. We want to destroy them in the name of Jesus. And even Crane, what the Bible says that no weapon fashioned against us shall be able to prosper in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you because we believe that you are together with us. And this is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. amen. And everyone to say amen. Amen. So let's appreciate God. Amen. So we want to invite our sister to lead us in a, a session of worship and praise. And then thereafter we will hear the word of God. Hey, thank you so much. Just so let us stand up for you and praise our God. I'm <laughs> 
We believe and trust in you, Jehovah God, that anything we require for the service that you are there to provide unto us, Lord. That you showed yourself to, to Abraham and you you made him to understand that you will it. Even to us, we know that you will cheer and to us. Please, may you be there for us. Jehovah Shalom, give us peace, Lord. Give us joy. Give us strength, Jehovah God. The whole of this same is that Jehovah God. Thank you, Father, even for our school, for we believe and trust. You will be there for us, Jehovah God. Anything that we require, from our directors to the lecturers, to the students, Jehovah God, even to the co workers of the school, Jehovah God, we thank you that you bless in us all you give us good cooperation, Jehovah God, that none of us shall be sick in Jesus' name. None of us shall lack in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We thank you. You taking us all through Jehovah. Praise for the semester. Favor for the semester. Anointing for the semester. Blessings for the semester. Let them all be sufficient in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And more to that, Lord, make us to get closer to you, Lord. Teach us to worship you, Jehovah God. Teach us and give us the revelation of your word at a personal level. It's a school. All this is for the glory and honor of your name. Thank you, Jesus, for everything. We love you so much and worship your name. And this is a prayer of faith in Jesus' name. Let us appreciate you. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. We can take our seats. Uh, if you have just joined us, uh, this is Destiny Technical School. Uh, it is our semester opening prayers day, and we are glad that you have joined us. Now, Destiny Technical School is a tertiary college that is uh, specialized in training accountancy courses. Uh, we train courses that are examined by CASNET. We train CAMS. We train ATD. We train CPA. We train CIFA and we train CS. And we would want to welcome you together with your friends and your relatives to come and join this prestigious institution. This is an institution where you can be sure that you'll be able to get value for your money. We have put all the mechanisms in place that are geared towards ensuring that you are able to achieve your destiny. And when you join us, you'll be able to confirm that for sure, Destiny Technical School is the seat of wisdom. I can comfortably say without any fear of contradiction that we are, uh, we are able to deliver what we expect and we are in our own realm in terms of the quality of delivering what the students and our customers want. So we encourage you to join us. If you have not joined us, we encourage you to talk to your friends to come and join us. For this new semester, running from uh, June to August, we already have begun in earnest. Uh, we are now in our second week teaching. Our classes have begun. Teachers are ready. We are teaching. And uh, we, ha we, we have put all the mechanisms in place to ensure that come August, our students are well prepared for the exams. So we want to assure you that we are in a position to fully complete the syllabus and not just completing for the sake of completing, but ensuring that we complete in a way that is substantial and in a way that will ensure that you pass your exams. So don't sit back there and uh, fear that the semester could be short, that we may not be able to finish the syllabus. We have put in place, we have a very competent team of lecturers. We have a, de a dedicated team uh, of even the support staff. Our facilities are of the state of the art. They are unparalleled and you'll be able to experience this anytime you join us. So we welcome you to come and be with us so that we can all together get to our, our destiny. So thank you so much. God bless you, uh, even for joining us and even for, our, uh, for supporting us. So today is our day of prayers. And uh, as it is our tradition in uh, today's event, we don't do many things. It is just to hear the word of God from our speaker of the day uh, as he commits the semester to God as we go forward. So we will not have speeches. Uh, I think it's only Mr. Juma who will come after the speaker to make the closing remarks. Uh, so the rest of us will have our day when we introduce ourselves and speak more about what we do here in the institution. So it is now my great honor and privilege uh, to invite and to bring to stage our speaker of the day. Uh, the speaker of today is a friend of mine for a long period of time. 
and I can confess here in front of you that he has really played a big role in mentoring me in terms of public speaking, and we have not yet finished. We still have a long way to go, and uh, I feel so much comfortable under his feet. He has guided me, and I believe that he continue guiding me, and therefore I invite you to listen uh, to him. I know he has a word of God uh, for you this particular afternoon. So for those of us who are here together with me, I want us by clapping to help me uh, welcome the speaker to the stage. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. I welcome you all who are here. Even those who are watching us from another place, in our offices, at home, or wherever it could be, welcome to Destiny Training College. You will experience ambience, warmth, and the people have created a community that will make you grow in your life experience. Someone has alluded. So there is no problem of intelligence. The problem we have is the nurturing of minds. That is Professor Tony Buza. If you come to Destiny Training College, you've been nurtured and you discover that you have been shut all this time. Now, my duty for those of you who are on vacation and those others who are online is to share God's word. And I'm sharing from the Genesis the first chapter. Genesis, the first chapter, the first three verses of that chapter. Genesis chapter one, the first three verses. That is where my talk will come from. And here it reads from the King James Version. He says, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, and the earth was without form, and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And God said, let there be light, and there was light. In the beginning, before anything else was, or it ever was, God was on stage doing something in the beginning. And this teaches us that in every beginning, we must begin with God. And that is why he rightfully says he's the Alpha, that is, is the beginning, and is also the end. So if you begin with the beginning, you are assured of ending. And God is the beginning of everything. And God begins everything, and God, whatsoever he begins, he finishes. One of the apostles said that he was so persuaded, persuaded that God is able to finish that which he started. And so at the beginning of this semester, we are beginning with God, and so we are assured that he will take us through to the end. We are not beginning with our own wisdom, our own knowledge, our own strength and understanding. We are beginning with the dependence on God. Whatever you start involving God in, then you are assured of the completion of the same. Is it a home? Start with God. Is it a business? Start with God. Is it just a venture? Start with God. In the beginning, God was there. And when God was there in the beginning, things were not okay. Things were not right. Things were haywire. The Bible says the earth was without form. In other words, it was formless. It was void. But because God was there, then whatever is expected will be there. Although the beginning may not be palatable, but if God is there, you are assured that everything will be good. You are assured that this God whom we worship 
is also a creator. He's not just God, he is a creator. A creator means he brings forth that which was not there, that which never existed. He brings it forth without using any material. That is all. He does not just form, because form is to use raw material. He creates, that is, he uses nothing, yet he creates everything. My friends, our God is a creator. And he will create that which is. He will create the beauty. He will create the happiness. He will create life where there is no life. And do you know something? When we start with him, we are assured that where God is, things are in control. The devil has never taken over from God. No. God is still the ruler of this earth. God is still on the driving seat of this earth. God is still the manager of this earth. And if we begin with him, we know that everything is in control. But Pastor Silas, how about when things go wrong? Even when things go wrong, God will make them right. Because he is God, he will make them right. But why will he allow things to go wrong so that he can make them right? He allows them to go wrong so that we may discover new levels, so that we may go to new heights, so that we may know the other embedded technologies that we will employ to become what God has intended us to become. Have you not heard that problems is the mother of invention. Necessity is the mother of invention. If there is no necessity, there is no invention. And so at the beginning, God is there. Let's begin with God. At Destiny Training College, we begin with God. We don't begin with anything else. We begin with God. This far, it is the Lord who has brought us. This far, it is the Lord who has sustained us. This far is the Lord who has been with us. The psalmist will sing a song and say, if the Lord had not been on our side, let Israel say. I will join the psalmist and say, if the Lord had not been on our side, let the members of Destiny Training College say who was on our side. We are assured it was the Lord. Because from the start, we've been with him. From the start, we have depended on him. When things went wrong, we gathered and cried to the Lord. When things were unhandleable, we said, Lord, we do not know what to do, help us. And we did so. And so he held us by the hand to this extent. In the beginning, God. In the beginning, God. Can you join me, those of you who are on location, and say, in the beginning, God. In the beginning, God. You can say better than that. In the beginning, God. In the beginning, God. Now say it a little bit louder. In the beginning, God. In the beginning, God. Yes. If you're beginning, the foundation is God, then there are three things you are assured of. One, the foundation is sure. You are standing on the right foundation. And that foundation is not a thing. That foundation is not a theme. That foundation is God himself. The psalmist will say, if the foundation be destroyed, what can the righteous do? He has no answer. He says, what can the righteous do? Although he is righteous, but if the foundation is destroyed, what can that righteous person do? Although he is holy, but if the foundation is destroyed, what can that holy person do? The answer is nothing. But our foundation is God. So if the foundation is God, the righteous will say, I will be like Mount Zion. I will not be moved. Hallelujah. Amen. You will be like Mount Zion. You shall not be moved. Amen. Although it rains, you shall remain like Mount Zion. You will not be moved. Also, the sunshine comes. You will remain like Mount Zion. You will not be moved. Why? Your foundation is God. Build a marriage on the foundation of God. Build a business on the foundation of God. Build a ministry on the foundation of God. Build your ventures in on the foundation of God. So that you can stand at the beginning and you look at everything as it happens and you say, in the beginning, God. 
You look at the wind blowing, and it's blowing everybody to the floor. But you say, in the beginning, God. You look at the sun scorching everyone, but you say, in the beginning, God. You look at marriages crumbling, but you say, in the beginning, God. You look at the economy of the people frustrating them and say, there is no money. I don't know where to get the money to pay for this semester. But you say, it was not where, it is God. In the beginning, God. Hallelujah. In the beginning, God. Will you say it again? In the beginning, God. In the beginning, God. Say it louder. In the beginning, God. In the beginning, God. Secondly, if you begin with God from the foundation, God sets you hope. He gives you hope. You have hope what to hold on, even as you move. Hope means, although I do not know how the road looks like, but I have hope because at the end there, someone is calling me, and that person who's calling me is trust me. And the person who's calling me is God, is the one I was with at the beginning. Here is darkness, but if he is at the end, I am assured I shall be there. The apostle teaches like this. He says, hope does not make ashamed. So you people who are beginning with God, you will not be ashamed. You will not be ashamed. Why? In the beginning, God. So if in the beginning is God, then I know I will not be ashamed. I will be there because he not, he not only begins, he finishes that which he begins. The one we call the Omega is also the one we call the Alpha. The one we call the Alpha is also the one we call the Omega. So friends, I am assured that he's holding me by the hand. I may not know the path, but he knows the path. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. Why am I so comfortable and assured that I will go to heaven? Although I have never been to heaven. No one has been to heaven and come and told me how heaven looks like. But I'm so assured that I've given all my life serving God that I will be in heaven because he who was there, Jesus Christ, and who started me on the path of salvation, he said, I am going and I will come and take you there. I trust him. And if he's the one taking me there, then I know where he's taking me is good. In the beginning, God. You will have what? Hope. Thirdly and last, if you begin with God, you will have assurance of the journey. Assurance of the journey. No guesswork. You have assurance of the journey. Why will you have the assurance of the journey? Because this one whom you began with, he never lies. He says, he is not a son of man that he may lie. Whatever he says is true. And even in the beginning, he created and he never changes and he never lies. Whatever I will need in between here, he will create it. Is he not God the creator? Did he forget creating when he created at the first? And then now time has gone, he has forgotten creating? No, he still creates. Is it something wrong with my body? And I am told that maybe my liver is gone. He can create it. Is it something wrong in my intelligence? He can create it. Is it something wrong in my finances? He can create it. Why are you so assured? Because he never lies. He speaks the truth. Whatever he says is true, and he himself is the truth. So I am assured that this God will go with me all the way. A few years ago, I saw a signpost which was advertising the name of a church. It was not only humorous, it was funny. And it used to be at Intafina House. And the name of that church was Jesus and Me, All the Way Ministries International. Jesus and Me, All the Way Ministries International. Coming to think of it, that all the way is what impresses me. In other words, this man was so comfortable and said, well, even if everybody leaves me, but Jesus, together with me, 
We will go all the way. About ministries and international, I don't know. But all the way. Now, as we start this new semester, it is Jesus and me all the way. Can you say that? Jesus and me all the way. Say it again. Jesus and me all the way. Shall we now stand and pray? Let's appreciate him and give him thanks. Let's appreciate him in your own ways and give him thanks. In the name of the Lord, we thank you, Father. We adore you, Jesus. We commit those who are already students in this college. We commit those who will be students in this college. We commit those who are staff in this college in your hands, oh God. We know that the Lord will go with them all the way. Thank you for each one of them. Lord, we call them from wherever they are. From any place where they are, we call them Jehovah. We ask you that God, you will put that which they need in their hand to be able to be here, oh God. We ask you, Jehovah God, you give them the strength, you give them the health in the name of Jesus. The spirit of sickness and disease, we bind it in the name of the Lord and we decree it shall not affect our people. The Bible says whatsoever we bind here on earth, it is bound even in heaven. We bind this sickness. We bind this disease. It shall not touch our people. In the name of Jesus, even as they make plans, O oh Lord, to enroll, and even those who have already enrolled, O oh God, we ask you keep them safe. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we ask you that this calamity has come with many things, economic challenges, but as for us, O oh God, we hang on to your word that says when they shall say there is a casting down, we shall say there is a lifting up. Let there be a lifting up in our finances. Let there be a lifting up in our health. Let there be a lifting up in our relationships. Let there be a lifting up in our family. In the name of Jesus, Father, we ask you make us stable. Make this organization stable. Make this college stable. Father, we pray for the unity among the directors. Jehovah, let there be unity. Because where people are united, nothing can stop them, which they have imagined to do. Oh, Jehovah, help them. Oh, Jehovah, be with them. Oh, Jehovah, raise them. In the name of Jesus, we ask you, oh God, let this be the best semester ever. In the name of Jesus, in their revenue, let this be the best semester ever. In the name of Jesus, in growth, let this be the best semester ever. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Father. Whatever they lay their hands upon, we pray, let it prosper. Whatever they do, let it prosper. Teach them the wisdom of man. Teach them the wisdom of angels. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Father. We bless your name because you always hear our prayer and you're ready to answer it, oh God. And this is the confidence that we have in you. If we ask anything according to your will, you hear us. And if we know that you hear us, then we know that we have that which we have asked of you. Therefore, since we have asked best on your will, which is your word, we are assured that you have answered us. And so we go ahead and give you thanks, Lord. We say thank you, Father. Thank you for hearing our prayers. Thank you for granting us the desires of our hearts. Thank you for touching every life here. Thank you, mighty God. In the name of your Son, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we pray and believe. Amen. Thank you. Let's appreciate our speaker. In the first place. Thank you. Thank you so much. We can have our seats. That is a great word. When such a word has come away, there is nothing that I can be able or should be able to add. We have been told clearly that in the beginning, God. In the beginning, God. In the beginning, God. And that is what exactly we will do. Thank you so much, Bishop Silas, even for honoring our invitation to come and speak to us. We always take it as a privilege and honor anytime we have uh, with you. And uh, may the Lord bless you.
together with your family in ministry and continue increasing you so that you can minister to the body of Christ in a bigger way. Thank you so much. May God bless you. So let's appreciate him again. Let's appreciate God now. Amen. At this juncture, maybe we have our director of finance, Mr. Jum, must say hi uh, before we, we, we say the words of the grace uh, and end the session. So, Mr. Jum, let's appreciate him as he comes. Yes. Uh, thank you so much, Mr. Kimani. So, uh, mine is uh, very short, and we are so happy. We can see our students are online. And we are very happy to have you uh, in this uh, afternoon. And thank you so much, Misho, for the work. So we we hope we are starting with God in everything we wish we do. I don't have much, just to appreciate uh, every one of you and the efforts which I give to us. And also we thank God for everything which He has done to us since we started the school and uh, the journey which. Yeah. So thank you so much, and may God bless us all. Amen. Let's appreciate him. Well, thank you, thank you so much. You have been watching us from Destiny Technical School. Uh, this is a school that is located in a building called the Bazaar Plaza around Boy Avenue. We are in eleven floor. Uh, anytime you come, you'll be able to get us. We have early morning classes, which begin at 6.15, all the way to 7.50, Monday to Saturday. We have full-time classes that begin from 8.30 to 1, uh, Monday to Friday. We also have uh, evening classes, which begin at 6 p.m., all the way to 8 p.m., uh, Monday to uh, Friday, and uh, Saturday, the whole day. So you're most welcome uh, to join us. Once again, thank you. Thank you so much. God bless you. Uh, we hope to see uh, most of you joining us and encouraging your friends to come and join us. So for the rest of us, uh, we can stand and end the fellowship with the words of the grace. Now may the grace of our Lord, Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Amen.